you know, we're here now. Yeah, make decisions, stick to them. All right, today is the battle of black garlic, regular versus bacon, apparently. And wow. I know, dude, I, I, okay, hot take. I think bacon hot sauces are not very good. I don't know, I love how many I've, I've had. I just, when you, anytime I hear the word bacon, I'm like, okay, my day got better. Uh, I think I've only had one hot, uh, like bacon hot sauce, and I, I don't know, I don't remember. I feel like I was like, this is gonna rule. And yeah. it didn't rule as much as I wanted it to. It should have. It has all the right <clears throat> things to rule. This is from Jersey. This is from Jersey Barn Fire hot sauce. They make great name. Fantastic hot sauces. How common are barn fires in Jersey? Like for it to be like a, a name, you know? I don't know, but I'm hoping that their origin well, story is somewhere on here. But I don't know <laughs> if it is. Do you want to start with regular or bacon? I think the garlic's going to be better because just garlic's a safer bet in a hot sauce. So let's go bacon. Really? Bold move. Yeah. Okay. Is it hot? Is it actually hot? Don't know. Oh. Sorry if I ruined your day. Jersey Bonfire hot sauce, black garlic, bacon, uh, spice of breakfast, steaks, chicken, fry, burritos, rice dishes, and more. Most sauces can go in rice, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, anything can physically go in I rice. I mean, rice is really try. a good vessel. Yeah. Yeah. Who says you can't have too much of a good thing? The company that brought you the original black garlic hot sauce now introduces black shallot to the already incredible rich, deep umami flavor bomb. Uh, but wait, there's more. Bringing the taste of succulent hickory bacon to the party is the cherry on the top for the ultimate flavor experience. Take your spicy food adventures to new levels. No actual piggies were harmed in the making of this product. Do you think there's liquid smoke in here? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be liquid smoke in here. Maybe. Do you think Garrett watches your channel? Maybe, he might. Oh. Well, I was gonna say exactly what I got Garrett for his birthday. I get birthday presents whenever they come in front of me and it reminds me. So like I got yours like months ago. Thanks. I got yours before I got Garrett's and yours is just a little bit. No, yours is after Garrett's. Not important. There's a lot of ingredients going on here. Holy crap, there's a lot of ingredients. All right, the ingredients are water, apple cider vinegar, red jalapeno mash, which is a lot of stuff, sugar, bacon flavor, which is salt, paprika, garlic, monosodium glutamate, onion, natural and artificial flavor, spices, bleached enriched flour, which inside of that is wheat flour, niacin, iron, thymine, monosarger, and then also, and then, so in the bacon flavor, there's no bacon. That's that. That was what's in the bacon flavor. That's, so there's no bacon. No, there's natural flavor. <laughs> Uh, and then there's red jalapeno mash, which is red habanero peppers and vinegar, black garlic, black shallots. I've never had black shallots before. That's gonna be amazing. Uh, organic chia that. seeds, salt. It contains wheat and soy, and it is vegan. Sounds great. Wait, what? Yep. Yeah, I was waiting for that word to kick in. What? I was waiting for that. <sighs> Ron Swanson does not approve. Okay, black garlic bacon. I said let's... Oh. You said less what? Oh, what's the other one called? Just back black garlic? Yeah. You said bacon first, man. Bro, I thought in the options were black garlic and bacon. I didn't know it was black garlic oh, and bacon. Oh, it's black garlic, bacon, okay. and black garlic. Yeah, now I see why you were surprised why I went this one first, but... You know, we're here now. Yeah, make decisions, stick to them. That's right. Um, It's probably gonna taste amazing. So I don't like uh, liquid smoke, but... A lot of the hot sauce makers, or hot sauce, a lot of the hot sauces I've had recently had liquid smoke in it. They used it correctly in a way that did not bum me out. I mean, usually when you have a neg negative attitude, it puts you in a good place to be uh, surprising, surprised. This smells good. amazing. Jersey bar fire. It smells Does so it good. Say anything about like a heat level? So it's a. Oh, there is a heat level. It's getting it's a, hotter. That's a three? Yeah. This is a two. We went the opposite direction. I mean, do you want to. No! Okay. We're here. Wow, okay. Uh, it's a thin. Light. I would yeah, say it's a yep. thin, thin body it's a light sauce. consistency. They're using my favorite bottle for this hot sauce, by the way. They are? Yep. It's got like a little bit of water how many, in the neck. How many bottles are there? Hey, uh, this least, is how much I'm gonna eat. At least four off the top of my head. You got a lot in your spoon, dog. I sure do. All right, sorry. Put eyeballs on those sure. in the editing process. I would drink that. I was like, like, oh, I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> summon, summon my garlic bacon. That is incredibly good. I would drink it, dude. Yeah, that's very, very good. I'm, give me some more. Yeah. Um, it's very, it, this is gonna sound so weird. It's extremely hammy. Okay. I get a lot of ham. 
I want to make flavors. steaks tonight and pour that all over it. Where that do, would be good. Do they have it at Jungle Gems? Yeah. Um, this would be excellent with like pulled pork. Excellent on barbecue. Like this is, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a glorified barbecue sauce. <coughs> That's better than the barbecue sauce that you gave me at the party, I think. That is, it's a, it, it's basically a barbecue sauce. It's fantastic, it needs to be in a bigger bottle. How much is it? I have no idea. I'm getting three bottles. It's very tasty. That is so good. The bacon, the bacon's there, the garlic's there. Uh, it's got a little bit of heat, like a good, like a good amount of heat. If you like heat, you might crave more. But it, it is there, and good consistency. It's just delicious. I love this. Yeah. Um, heat scale out of ten. That's a two. That's exactly where I'm at. Yeah. That's a two. Um, is there habanero in here? I mean, we drank like two spoonfuls, and it's like a very hop, there comfortable it is. Red, hop, red habanero mash. That's the second ingredient, I think, right? Uh, yeah, after a lot of the ingredients in the uh, the bacon flavoring. Um, I can give that to my child? Yeah. Who's a vegetarian? Your, your veg- my vegan wife could, could eat this. Which is weird, because this is a- it's- I, it's very hammy. I might just go to Jungle Gems after work. It's, I don't go to stores anymore. <clears throat> it's fantastic. Okay. This is the original version of that. So they made this, and they're like, everyone was like, this is house rules, and they're like, yeah. hold on. That was the worst cut ever. Oh my gosh, terrible things are happening. How many people do you think judge you on that? Quite a few, actually. I don't think any. No, quite a few. Really? I do, I get comments. People are specific. That was off camera, though. That's because I made it a thing. Oh, I always yeah, talk about sure. the, the quality of the cut. Yeah. Okay. Our black garlic barn fire takes a super deep flavors of black garlic and melds them together with our sweet heat recipe to give you the first ever of its, uh, to give you the first ever of its kind. That's, I don't know, I think that's right. Think of layers of flavor like caramelized garlic, smoky, almost roasted flavors with heat and flavor of the garden state in a bottle. I don't know if those are things. Specifically on fire. Far less ingredients in this sauce. The uh, hot peppers, which are jalapenos and, and uh, habaneros, which is the number one ingredient. In this. And then vinegar, water, tomatoes, sugar, onions, garlic, black garlic, salt, spices. What kind of spices? spices. Olive oil. Love olive oil sauces. Herbs and xanthan gum. What kind of herbs? Did, did the other one have olive oil? No. So this one might have a, a little smoother consistency. It's thicker. Ever so slightly, slightly thicker. There's that olive oil. You're loading it up. Well, it's, I mean, it's, that one's hotter, and that one, I could, I could literally drink that. Um, medium plus bodied sauce. Lots going on in here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna have a fantastic texture. I love black garlic so much. Okay, cheers. All right, happy birthday. Although once you eat it, it's a lighter consistency than like a lighter body than you than it looked when I poured it. This has, it's we screwed up the the order we did. so bad. This should be a salad dressing. In comparison to this, yeah, you know, like. This has so much concentrated flavor, yeah. it is insane. That's your beverage and this is your salad dressing. There There's you. This is yeah, this has got like a, a tangy a tanginess yeah. of vinegar, lots of garlic, black garlic going on. Both like, delicious. Both absolutely incredible sauces. Um I'm saying this is about the same heat level though. Yeah, I mean it's kind of confusing when you go reverse. We still have some heat from the original one, probably. But yeah, it's yeah, it's still. I mean, my mouth did not get cooler at all. No, I mean, it's still. I would still still say it's a two out of ten. Yeah, it kept. Yeah, um, it kept it going. You're saying, you're saying you uses marinade for meats, based for ribs, wings, chili soups, eggs, and sandwiches. I don't know. Soups? Like, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> you your tomato soup? Oh, I was saying like, put, yeah, put it in soup. You know? Yeah. Sure, but I mean, I want to put this like on sandwiches. Like yeah. That. Both of these things are gonna be excellent on barbecue. These are both like, you know, condiments. I mean, they're hot sauce, but this yeah. is like so crazy barbecue sauce, like ish. Fantastic sauces. I don't know how I've not tried these. Before. They're they're delicious. Something tells me that I've had this sauce on my channel before. It might have been a very long time. I've been ago. doing this for a while. I know. If I, it's only happened once, I think, where I like reviewed the same sauce and I went back and I watched the video and I said the same things, which made me very happy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good test. I know, and it made me very happy because there was like two years in between the videos. Yep. But if I've done this sauce before, please let me know because um, I'd be and, interested. And compare them to see if you change I know, right? Mind. See if I uh, change my mind. On my toy channel, I do with now my sons, but then it was just my oldest son. And uh, we did Crossfire 
and I forgot how to play for I was a kid, and I, I did a whole video and played it the wrong way, and everyone yeah. was like, what are you doing? And I, so I did another video. Like, sorry. That's amazing. <laughs> you should watch it, it's on YouTube. You should have made it like an April Fool's Day video. It's embarrassing, but I, anything I make, any stupid decision. Did you do this on, talk, did you on uh, Toy yeah. Toy Time? Yeah, if you look it up, there's probably two. Off camera, I'll show you. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Jersey Bonfire is going to be linked in the description below. These are absolutely incredible. Also, a link to let's do Taco Game Time, our our video game channel. So if you've not checked that out, please. When does this go? Saturday. Oh. Uh. So Wobbly Life. Wobbly Life. Check it out. Goofy game, but fun. Oh yeah. Okay. I love you guys. See you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.